Welcome to the second video in CADPOINT's residential design series. In this video we'll take our existing building model and create our new proposed scheme with the goal of getting a presentation 3D visual at the end. So the first thing we'll do is we'll move up into our ground floor plan and we're going to demolish this wall here. So we'll zoom into the intersection area, move up to the modify tab and go into split the wall like so. Now if we zoom out we can come up here to the demolish tool and demolish this area here. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate this view with detailing, rename it ground proposed Click OK and on the view properties, check show complete. Now I'll only show areas which are complete. I'm also going to demolish these windows from the wall and the door. I'm going to move up to the home tab and put in some bifold doors like so. I'm just going to mirror that door like so. Now if we move into the, our 3D view and duplicate this view also, rename this interior view proposed, click OK, right click view properties and change this to complete also. What I'm also going to do is demolish the stairs and the ceiling, modify and demolish the stairs there and up into the ceiling plan. And demolish two ceilings move back into the interior view and you can see they've gone and then we're going to put a new ceiling in of the same type back into the 3d view okay now we can start to populate our scene with furniture so we move up to the component tab and we can place our furniture in. So I'll have a dining table in here. A modern TV cabinet, I think I'll place along this edge. Like so. Place the room divider press the space bar to change the orientation, move that along to this edge here, place a small modern table somewhere around there. What I've also done, I've got a stairs group I created earlier, which I can just drag in and place and move that up into that corner as well. Move into the 3D view to see what's happening there now. You can see that's placed in. Um, there's a few things which we need to change. We'll change the cabinet here. If we just go into its type. I want to change the material as it doesn't have one at the moment. I'm just going to change that to wood cherry. We'll OK that and OK that. And also our ceiling, the stairs aren't cutting it again. So if we go into there, move up into the ceiling plan and we can edit that boundary.
like so. And we'll finish the ceiling. Move back into our interior view proposed. We'll see that's cut the ceiling out. I think. Move back into our ground proposed. I can add a a modern sofa. Place it in the corner there. Also, while in our ceiling plan, I've got another group here of lights proposed, which I can drag and place. And our lights are now in place. Okay, and the only thing left to do now is set up the rendering. So if we move down to our rendering dialog box, we'll just make sure that the settings on medium and interior sun is checked. The sun's coming from the top right. Render for that now. And a little while later, we have our finished rendering. So if we move up and close this dialog box, we can come down and save the project. We're just going to call it Interior View Proposed. I'll click OK to that. Close this rendering dialog box. Move down to the renderings. We can open up the rendering view, which we can export if we like. So we have our finished rendering. That brings to a close the second video in CADPOINT's Residential Interior Design Series.